Right, so we're on episode 48 of Unranked a Diamond as every single support. The last game we did, we played Renata. Game went pretty weird, but we got the outcome that we wanted, at least anyway. Our team does not have that much magic damage on. Uh, we are playing with Illusion. Um... Let's do a karma game for this one. Bit of laning pressure against the Bard, make it a little bit difficult for him to roam early on. Um, and maybe with Illusion we can be aggressive enough to maybe push up for a kill. Zyra, we've already played Zyra already, so that's not going to be happening. Definitely want different runes to that. Let me just yoink some generic runes. That looks fine to me. So yeah, the whole point of this is just to create a bit more pressure on the bot lane. We'd already have played Nami, so we can't do like Nami Lucian. I didn't want to go full Enchanter either in terms of like Sona or like a Yumi here. Wouldn't be too great, I don't think, especially not knowing what we're going into. Just basically wanted to be aggressive without having to take a hard engage in. Do I have any recent Karma support guides? I don't know when I made my last one. I haven't done one for this year. Um, but the basic mechanics should still be relevant if I made one at least in the last two years. So go check that out and just watch the ability sections, I guess. Um, but yeah, playing your favorite champion comment. Jin Bard. So that's not too scary of a combo. My main concern on the enemy team is... Does anyone want to take any guesses here, actually? You know, I go through champion selection a lot. I always say my thoughts. Let's see if you guys have learned anything. What's the what's the, the kind of scariest thing on the enemy team and why? So let's see if you guys have been paying attention. If you look at our team composition and you look at theirs, what's, what's something that kind of stands out on the enemy team? Yep. Seems like a lot of you have identified it already. Yeah, it's cat. We've got no crowd control for it. It's a bit of a problem. Um, also, she's got lots of numbers in her name, which means she's probably a smurf. So, yeah, cat because we've got no crowd control. Like, no instant hard crowd control to interrupt her ulti. Or to lock her down. Uh, so the only way we're going to be able to do deal with her is just having more damage. Just killing her before she kills us, really. And it's quite volatile when that happens, but we'll see. Uh, enemy cat definitely, you know, plays cat a decent chunk. We've also got an assassin mid laner that also seems to be competent. So we might be okay. Um, other than that, there isn't too much else to add. It seems like the Lucian and the enemy bot lane are not smurfing. Enemy top lane and jungle aren't smurfs. Um, my top lane and jungle are duo. You could, uh, there could be a couple of smurfs on my team here, apart from me, but the talent and the echo could potentially be. I don't think the echo probably is though, because he has a promo series going to gold and I got to skip it, for example. So it might be talent might be on my team, might potentially be a smurf. All right, so our objective down here is just to win laning phase and then see what happens after that. I think this game is going to be very dependent on who wins laning phase. It's going to be very volatile, I think. Just because of the assassin factor and the lack of crowd control, honestly, on both teams. The enemy team has a bit more because of Brad. Um, but yeah... What are my thoughts on Karma? I think Karma's really annoying to play against in lane. I think she falls off heavily though past laning phase. So it kind of fits the theme of the same composition that we've got here really. Lucian wants to win lane, get the game over done as quickly as possible ideally. Same with the Talon. Echo and Gangplank have a little bit more late game scaling, but I think they can also, you know, the, the Echo in particular would, needs to kind of get ahead early. You called her Budget Lulu? Yeah, she still is Budget Lulu. <laughs> Especially in high elo, she's basically Budget Lulu. Oh, 
Are there enchanters that can make use good use of buckler? I don't like shield. Uh, you're talking about um, relic shield, right? Relic shield is an item that I hate to pick up anyway. But on enchanters, it's just even more troll. Alright, we've got to push in the lane a bit and hit the bard, so that's pretty good. Stole the minion there. Just trying to help the solution hit level 2. Good. Don't think that bard was expecting me to take W level 2. Pretty smooth as well with my, my mantra Q. Good. Really, really, really good mid. The fact that cat died super early then. Nice. What are you doing? Not sure why that Lucian took so long to recall. I don't have E so I can't speed back into lane. Enemy bot lane aren't pushing this in fast enough, which is good news for us. Really good. Team's doing really well. Action's top side. Right, we want to freeze this and punish the gen for having to recall now for doing a really bad shove. Let's pop a potion here. So now Bard is now forced to roam. Otherwise he's just standing down here doing nothing. But I don't think he did roam. I think he's still like hovering around bot side right now. Yeah, he's still kind of down here. He's trying to leech XP if he can, but the minions are still dying too far away. I can do that again in a second as well. Wait, what? Why did he switch targets? <sighs> Bard should have died there. I, th I think he must have accidentally swapped targets. That's a bit wince. Yeah, Bard definitely should have died there, 100%. He had no flash. Oh well. At least we get to continue getting a little bit further ahead in lane home. Jin's getting a bit starved here right now. Okay, I think he's just tilted. <laughs> he's definitely typing there. Be a diff bit more difficult to go in now because I had to use my ignite. But if we can look to find some form of a shove in, that would be good. Might be looking for a mantra W here just to get some health up. Yeah. 
Let's take these berries. Yeah, we're delaying them quite a lot. We're about, what, 15 CS ahead? A bunch of XP as well. I'm dead. There's no way I'll make it out here. Lucian went super deep as well. He overextended for that like crazy. Uh, okay, that sucked. Well played from action, getting into the lane like that. That kind of undid all of the freezing that we were doing and stuff. It did undo it. So. Jin's overstaying here a little bit. Action jungle? Yeah. Yeah, I think Lucian thinks our talent's the jungle, but it's Echo. I doubt that they'll um come through lazily. Action. Just saw him in the mini map. Is he on Krugs? Yeah. Bard's got maybe boots. Good job, Chief here. Why did he tank that one, the Lucian? Just dodge to the side. Okay. Well, whatever, we get to live. That Mantra W was very important in the end there to actually give me that extra healing that I needed. Um, Not winning the lane as much as I would like to be right now. This dragon call is kind of insane. He's lucky that he gets away with that, primarily because they just had three people bot lane. So if they wanted to, they could have actually just ran straight to dragon to, to get that. And he would have been caught out. But we get it for some reason, so. Bard's roaming right now. I think three thing isn't really working out too much. I think we should just try and get some turret plates now. What's the cat doing? Not sure. Losing lane at the moment. That's coming down. Not getting much help down here, are we? Couple of action ganks. Cat now looking to roam down. He's just gonna tunnel. Never Could maybe catch out this gin though. Good. Don't think that tri brush was watered. I 
We've got to get as much damage onto this turret as possible. Turret play, it's gonna annoy the crap out of me. Jin's gonna pop all to you. He's trying to ult me to make it, so Jin's got four shot. <sighs> okay. Got an assist. Not sure exactly how I got an assist. Didn't realize he even hit the cat there, but. Yeah, so the bar tried to ult me to make it so that I wasn't blocking Jin shots. Uh, Jin flash. Yeah, it kind of sucks. We're not really getting any help down here, and it doesn't look like we're winning, like, topside either. Like, topside, it's not looking too great either up there, so I'm not really sure what's going on right now. They're having they're spending a lot of resources bot, but also getting stuff elsewhere on the map. Uh oh. You got away. Forty seconds for turret plates. They should got a solo play at them. Nice. That was the first turret. This is a really stupid way to go, wasn't it? Okay. Yeah, probably not the best way to go. Echo was kind of nearby, but... No, that was bad pathing. So my main concern with Cat, she's not like popping up right now. So I, I'm pretty sure we still have a good chance of winning this game. Been Talon, has, Talon has been silently doing stuff. Okay. Thought he was gonna zoom in there. It's another dragon in eight seconds. Right there. Wait, what? Lucian died. Echo didn't block the gin shots. Oh, I'm completely stuck here, though. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. Did the Echo just troll the Lucian there? It looked like the Echo trolled Lucian. Okay. Um. I think I have to do a Zonia's. Yeah, we have to do Zonia's. It's just way too much damage in this game. And if I can even delay, like, a second from Assassin's getting reset, so... Wasting a gin fourth shot or something like that, then it could be pretty powerful. Yeah, Lucian's having a mental breakdown because I, I understand why though. I'm kind of confused about the map situation right now as well, but it is what it is. I need to be helping. Okay. 
Okay. Cat's kind of free farm bot right now. You know, it's still losing on the map though, really, it feels like. Cat's coming up. Okay. There's no point in even Zonya's that. <clears throat> okay, that was a nice collapse by them. GP should maybe consider alting this. I think we've just been blessed with too many good GPs, right? That was um, a bit youth to watch, actually. Um, yeah, so we're not really working as a team. Plus side is though our assassins do have a lot of kills, so even if we're not working as a team, they can run around, potentially get a couple of kills. Um, but yeah, it doesn't feel great to play, and the karma will start falling off as well. No one's here. I thought GP was here. Trying to help my team get onto this. They should be able to collapse on him now. Come on, you can do it. It's just that Mantra W is based off missing health. <clears throat> yeah, I don't mind dying for that. If I didn't die there, Claire probably would have just... I'd rather be one for one, put it that way. He kills me, but then my team gets to kill Clad, and Clad is level 13, which means more XP and stuff. Also, I think I probably gave an assist to Jin though, at least anyway, but I think overall it's better. Oh, yeah, action, just stealthing in the middle of the lane now. God, I love stealth. Got a lot controlled so Lucian's not here, so it's gonna be 4v5. Well, that was pretty bad. Mate, I I gave you a shield. He literally got me killed for no reason. All right, at least we're winning the fight overall. That sucked though. He didn't need to do that because as soon as he um. Let the action ult hit me, and then I could get hit by Jin W. And then get rooted from that. Oof, that does no damage.
That GP is a strange one. We have the Cled and the Action. Oh god. And the cat. The Jin and the Bard aren't doing too much. But the Bard, I guess the Bard's crowd control is coming through a little bit. He's landing his ulties quite nicely. Yeah. Just gave a lot of bounties there as well. GP's in. What is he trying to do? What? This is GP's first game playing GP, right? Second? It's Duo of Echo. Okay. Oh god, you leaving me here with this cled? You mental dude? He's gonna. <gasps> he killed himself by doing that uh, Q or whatever it is. Dismounted. He went backwards into the second part of Mantra Q. Kind of just ditched me there, though. I guess he knew all along that I could handle the cred, right, guys? Are we gonna are we gonna are we gonna do it, guys? Oh. My action did die. Oh my god, Baron's aggroing still. What the hell is going on, man? Why is this Baron under perm aggro status? Oh, it's because he's hitting it with the, um, tier mat. What a weird game. I think everyone loses this game. <laughs> Uh, the plus side is we are on three dragons. So if we get one more, it's Cloud Soul. There's someone there. Well, okay, good job. Okay, we lost GP, I think that's fine. I'm happy with that trade. This is gonna be rough. So two assassins alive. Versus a Jin, I think our assassin should be fine, right? I'm gonna go for Wardstone. It's gonna be another big fight though. It's 40 seconds until Dragon. Hey Ray, and hey everyone else that's in the chat. I hope everyone's doing well today. Need 100 gold. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get that. 
Right, well, their jungle is dead for 40 seconds. That's a nice pick from Talon. We just need to go straight for this this dragon. If we don't get this dragon, we're trolling. GP has teleport. What's that smite, dude? Went to 30 HP. It wasn't he didn't even have to panic. I that was nearly super throw, man. I mean, if they're wasting their time, maybe a couple of ultis on GP, that's fine again. Don't really care. Go Baron them. Cat spot. Put the jingle it. Uh, what the hell is your problem, dude? Stealth time. I just need to push down mid. Neither team has that great wave clear. Well, GP would have okay wave clear, but he can't get his barrels to work. I think they, they could have just collapsed there on GP anyway, regardless. I wouldn't have been able to do much to stop it. Okay, there's too many minions in the way. Alright, we can clean up now. They shouldn't die bot lane. On yes. Okay. Okay. Oh. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? We could use some anti heal, I guess, for this Clyde's death stance. Let's just actually go into Oblivion Orb and pick up a potion. So as I said that sentence, pick up a potion. I remember like the, the pick up a penguin. That used to be a thing, advert. <laughs> Sorry, Americans, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Wasn't that the uh, the catchphrase for that? Uh, their little slogan, pick up a penguin? Did it even exist? Penguins? Penguin chocolate bars? They were quite nice. They were like, um... Like a rectangle kind of like, I want to say like a rectangle sandwich. A sandwich of chocolate. I don't know what you would call it. It had like a, like a biscuity base. Got a base. Like a chocolate biscuit, biscuity base. Okay, that was probably the saddest cat I think I've ever seen in my life. It's a chocolate covered biscuit? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Okay. 
They don't exist? I don't know. I used to have them in my pack lunch. And I remember they also would, the wrappers would be different colours and for some reason I'd be excited to guess what colour wrapper I was going to get. Stealth time! Nice. Overall, the game went okay. I think we absorbed a lot of pressure bot lane. Um, constant roaming, constant ganks from action, constant roaming pressure from cat. Uh, but luckily, our assassins were just better. Gangplank was obviously struggling a lot then. Um, nothing really else to, to add too much to that game. Gold 2. So we did get to skip gold 3. We're getting to do a lot of skips here, guys. Um, that's another food stuff that I haven't had for a long time that I do like. Skips are quite fun. Um, anyways, yeah, gold 2. Um, yeah, we're getting through this relatively quickly, I, I think. I think this is pretty good overall. 48 games to hit gold 2 from bronze 4. Um... Won't be able to skip gold one, so we'll probably be going gold two to gold one. Now the question is, will we get to skip promos? So we're definitely getting them. How does that work? The skipping? Well, the game acknowledges that I am much higher ELO than I should be in the ranking, so it's like it's just trying to get me to where I should be quicker, essentially. Um, it will mean so we were getting like plus twenty five LP per win. With the skipping from gold four to gold two, um, it will pro the gains now will probably go down a little bit now too. So it might only be like twenty two LP for a win or something as it tries to normalize everything. Uh, we'll probably come to a point. I imagine maybe plat four, plat three, where it, the game will might think, okay, that's where he should be, um, and then it will be a bit more grindier. Plus, the game quality will be a bit if you as I've maybe explained previously um so we'll see we'll cross that bridge when we come to it but um I'm really happy with the progress I've done I think I've done better than I thought I would have done at this point um what's my win rate you can see at the top 30 wins 18 losses um so yeah I feel like I've done better than what I thought I was gonna do when I was when I was making this challenge I was a bit nervous that like you know maybe I would get hard stuck somewhere for ages but we seem to we had a little bump I think quite early on in the series regarding um like all the scripters and stuff. That was a really tough patch, like area of time where it was just script to script to script to script to um for around about for like about ten games, almost back to back. Uh but since since that point, um we've managed to I think after the interview with the Cogmore actually, um the game quality overall has generally been better. There's been definitely been some blips. There were some 15 minute stomps um, in the second rotation of champions actually that we had to, to deal with and play with and stuff and win and loss with. But uh, yeah, overall games have been playable. I've been enjoying playing at the moment and I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. So yeah.